Hey everyone, so today we're going to talk about the top three things that I liked working in tech, specifically as a software engineer. I know there are a lot of videos out there uh, that kind of cover this topic, but you know, each person is different, so I figured I'd offer my opinions, offer my experiences, and hopefully you guys can kind of glean something from that. So let's get started. All right, so the first thing that I like is the flexibility. So, you know, as a software engineer, you're typically on a computer all day, like a lot of jobs, but in particular with our field, um, we're interacting with the computer way more than we are interacting with people. Of course, we have meetings, but in general, like we're coding, we're writing documents or slacking, slacking people. So the human to human connection, even though it's very important, it's um, human to human interaction, even though it's pretty important, it doesn't really make as much of an impact, I would say as like the documents you write, the code that you write, obviously. Um, but of course you can't have, you know, you can't do your job without um, inter interacting with people, making connections, um, all those like social things, right? Um, but in general, because we do work on a computer all day and our job is more geared towards that, uh, we can pretty much work from home. Uh, we can work anywhere that has a Wi-Fi connection. Um, and actually over the pandemic, um, so previous to my this current job, um, I worked in an office, but once the pandemic hit, you know, things kind of changed. People started working remotely. And I think, you know, honestly, I was working more than I was before. And I don't think my productivity, productivity really went down. Um, if anything, it increased. Um, now at the time I was joining a new company, I was onboarding into my current company and maybe it was a little tough to, you know, uh, to do that remotely, but, um, over time, once you feel fully, once you're actually onboarded, uh, things are pretty much the same. If not, you know, you work more you, because there are a lot fewer distractions at home. So, um, you know, with the internet connection, you can pretty much work anywhere. Um, also another, another thing is the flexibility of the hours. So, um, and that goes along with like a lot of our projects being kind of project based, um, our tasks being like part of a larger project. And, uh, usually depending on your company but from my experiences working at like a larger tech company in, in particular things are more project-based so how you accomplish that as long as you do it on a deadline the day-to-day minutiae or even the week-to-week -week minutiae doesn't really matter as much as you like updating the project um uh and making progress towards it right um so people won't really micromanage you on a day-to-day -day basis um i imagine in some cases you know I would disagree with it, but some people, some managers might be a little more micro micromanagey. But in general, um, I think a good gen a good manager is generally pretty hands off, right? Like you definitely want to communicate on an at least a weekly basis, but day to day communication is not necessary. And so because of that, you know, your hours are generally pretty flexible because you're not being micromanaged by someone else. Um, so that's super nice um, that you can kind of work on your own time. Um, of course, there are meetings during the day, so you kind of have to like, you know, align your time with the meetings. But in general, um, you know, outside of that, the time is really up to you to kind of decide what to do with and how to set up your day. So that's always been something that I really liked is the flexibility. The second thing that I like about software engineering is our, the problems that we have to solve. Now, a lot of these problems, because they're on the cutting edge of technology because technology moves so fast, you're constantly encountering new problems. Now, these problems might fall under a broader category. And so, you know, a lot of them can be kind of grouped together, but typically the details and the nuances do differ from problem to problem. And so the approach is different for each one. And so you get a chance to be creative with your problem solving. You can always, you're basically always like stimulated. Um, you always have something interesting to kind of look forward to solving. Um, and it's not as, it's not really rote. It's not really routine. You don't really get bored of solving problems. Now, that being said, if you're not naturally, you know, or if you don't find some kind of interest um, in solving problems, that might be a different issue, right? But if you're interested in like tackling problems, um, kind of pushing yourself to uh, expose yourself to new challenges and to kind of find different ways of solving these problems, then this is a good field for you. And I would say, you know, along that thought of there being a lot of new 
uh, problems, but some of these problems are kind of they're they're similar to each other, but they're also different in small ways. It also gives you a chance to develop uh, a kind of an encompassing solution that will solve like a broader category of problems, right? So that way you're not just like, you know, like whack-a-mole. Each time one problem comes up, you just solve it a different way from another one because that can also get kind of tiring. So there's this motivation for you to kind of in, um, in incentive for you to solve like a broader category of problems and you can kind of go meta in that way. And honestly, for a software engineer, that's like, that's the, um, I want to say, um, a sign of like a good or like a more senior software engineer is when they can solve problems that, um, not on a case by case basis, but solve a problem that might solve future problems of the same kind, right? So, you know, there's different ways of solving problems. And that's like what's like pretty cool about this is that, you know, you can kind of find your own way to, you know, approach things. There's always, there's never really a right answer. Of course, some approach is better than others, but, you know, there's definitely a spectrum and um, it's kind of up to you to determine where in the spectrum of like a good problem solving approach is. And that's, uh, you know, it keeps things really interesting. And the third thing that I like about software engineering, and it's not the last thing that I like, but for the purpose of this video, let's, uh, uh, it is the last thing that I'm going to talk about today. So the third thing is how much impact your code can have immediately on millions of users, how well it your changes or what you work on can scale to so many users, right? Like, because our code changes are sometimes very minimal, right? A few lines of code. Now getting to that change could take hours and hours of investigation, of testing, deploying. But ultimately, once you're done with that process, even though, you know, on paper it might not look that like that much, it can immediately affect millions of users once it's deployed. So you know, being able to have this kind of skill and this visibility with your work is definitely something that's very humbling. Um, you know, you can talk to your friends about the work you do. You can feel an immediate impact of what you're doing. I worked previously at a company that only had a few thousand, maybe like 10,000 users or something like that. But now I'm working at a company that has millions of users. And I can tell you, like, for sure there's a night and day difference. You know, maybe it's because of what I value in terms of feeling like my work actually has impact. But... You know, ultimately like coding, like the coding itself on a granular level is somewhat similar across um, across companies of varying sizes, right? Architecturally, things are different because you have to scale out your technology. That's very different. But in terms of like, you know, fixing a bug fix or changing one line of code, it's, if you look at a code change from a smaller company versus a code change at a larger company, Granted, at least they're small code changes. Like it's really hard to tell if which company is a smaller company, and which company is a larger company. But the difference is that a larger company, that code change will affect so many people, and so that's what I mean by like, the scalability of your work if you work at a larger company. But um, yeah, that's something that you know I feel like I've you know sometimes you on a day-to-day -day basis when you're working like 40 plus hours a week, uh, it's kind of hard to remember that your work has that much impact. But if you, you know, take some time and really think about it, and especially if you talk to friends or other folks who are users of your app, then you realize, oh, like I have this much, you know, I have this much impact on what I'm building out. And it gives you a really good feeling. You know, it gives you some motivation as well. And it gives you a sense of, hey, I'm doing something that's, you know, that's good for society you know and so that's a very um you know that's a very neat thing you know um that you can impact so many users at such a you know such a you know such a fast rate so um yeah that's something that i really enjoy about um about coding all right guys so those are three things i like about a software engineering career the flexibility always have an interesting problem to solve and the impact of our work to scaling to so many users so easily um, in a future video, I'll go over more reasons where I'll, I'll dive into each of these reasons that I went to in these, this video in more detail in another video. But uh, thanks for listening in and thanks for if you have any questions, please um, go ahead and comment in the box below and I'll get back to you.